Hello beautiful people of the world, it's Abby and I'm back and on the vlog that I posted on Sunday I had said I was doing my makeup as part of the vlog and I had said that I had been wanting to do like a makeup and talk video for like ever and I thought it was finally time to do one and I thought something I had been wanting to try is Lana Del Rey's makeup routine so I thought that I would document that if you guys want to try it and just talk i don't know what we're gonna talk about probably whatever comes to mind but we're just gonna sit here and talk and do our makeup and i do my hair before i do my makeup which makes it kind of hard to see so i think i'm gonna tuck my hair behind my ears for this um i don't want it to get messed up but yeah that's how we're gonna do it so I have the routine up on here on TikTok. Um, the person who posted it is yourfavepage.x. I'll put the username on when I edit so that you guys can find this too. I just saw it and I was like, hmm, that's a good idea and might as well. It's Sunday, we're gonna branch out. Normally during the summer, I don't do that much makeup at all. I do like mascara and lip gloss and that's about it. You probably saw that on the video I posted. But right now, it's kind of rainy, not getting the summer vibes, so I might as well do something different today. I'm really scared about my bangs getting in the way, but I don't want them to get messed up. So I'm not going to put them back, but we'll see how this goes. So the first thing we have to do is concealer. And I had talked about this in the last video, how much I love this concealer. Um, that's the brand if y'all want it. I don't think it's like fancy or anything. I just like it. I'm gonna put it under the eyes. I always put concealer under my eyes because I have dark circles under my eyes because of low iron. And probably just because I don't get enough sleep. Look how much better that looks, like, in comparison. Now you see why I do it. If you have dark circles, take this as your note. Which I think they look good on some people. But for me, it seems like my eyes are literally sinking into my skull, so we're not gonna... I personally am going to put some concealer over here where I break out a lot. I hope the lighting's okay. Um, I couldn't get my light all the way over here. There's not an outlet available over here. So I had to drag it as far as it could go and it's actually sitting on my tripod. So the tripod's multi-use. It looks like my mouth is wet, but it's not. I just put chapstick like all around it. I get super dry lips. Um, I don't know why it just started doing that like recently. Next, I'm gonna do some bronzer, and this technically is a bronzer. It's actually eyeshadow, but for the bronzer look, like I use the actual bronzer that I have. This stuff for highlighter. Oh, it is highlighter. For some reason I thought it was bronzer because I, I tried to use it as bronzer and I was like, that does not work. Why is it advertised as that? But it's not even bronzer, so that's probably why. But I'm just going to use this. And I like never do like contour and stuff. So there's a good chance that this is going to look whack and we're going to have to wipe that off. I used to, like, when I first started doing makeup because it was fun. And like, you know, when you're like younger and you like watch makeup tutorials and stuff, I used to do that all the time, so. So I know how to contour, I just never do it. That doesn't look dark enough and it's really hard to see because of the lighting. My bathroom lighting is like 
much better for this. I would have just recorded in my bathroom, but I don't really record anywhere other than my bedroom when I'm doing talking videos. Cause I just feel like it's weird when people see me talking to the camera. Hopefully that looks good. We're gonna hope. Okay. Too bad YouTube has like copyright laws and stuff because I would totally put Lana Del Rey songs in the background of this. I, um, also the next step is blush and actually I really love this blush. Um, I don't know, I guess it's just like a regular brand, it's just Neutrogena. I thought it was fancy for some reason because this is the blush I use for dance competitions and normally you have to get a certain brand of that. but. Apparently this one is not one of them. Anyways, back to what I was saying about the music. I, my editor app, because I edit my I edit my own videos, but my editor app is it has like a ton of non-copyright song options, like for you to put in the background of your videos, and it has some of the best ones that I've seen. That's why I always have like the good music in the background of the videos but when i was editing yesterday because today is actually sunday when the vlog that i recorded comes out so um whatever the last video i posted is came out today and i was editing it last night and one of the song options that they had on there was Riptide by Vance Joy. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna use that because I love that song, but is like YouTube gonna copyright me even though like the app says it's okay to have the song on there? Because I didn't think that that app had any music that was copyright. So I was thinking like, hmm, maybe there's like some rules to where you can use this now so I put it on the video, and obviously if you've already seen that video, you know that it's not on there. And it's because I couldn't even save the video from the editor app with the music on it. Like, I don't know. It said, like, something about it being too short of the amount of music that you need to, like, be able to continue on. But it only went to that length if that makes sense like it didn't have an option to let me put it on there for a longer amount of time so i don't know what was up with that but yeah did not get to use that song on the video which is fine also like i say i love riptide as if it's not like a super common song that song was all over the place in like when did it come out 2014 i don't know i remember listening to it when i was younger I'm probably like really off though. Now I'm gonna use the highlighter and I love doing highlighter on my nose. Also, I don't know how accurate this is to like Lana Del Rey's makeup routine. I don't know. I'm taking it from information on TikTok, so if this is inaccurate, don't come after me. Come after whoever I said posted this video. I get like, well, let me explain the next, the next step of this before I um, go into another story. Um, I'm gonna do a lighter brown eyeshadow, so probably this one on my eyelids and then around it I'm gonna do a darker brown eyeshadow but I'm probably gonna mix this dark brown with the light brown because I don't want it that dark anyways back to my story um I get really bad blackheads like on the side of my face like right here you can kind of see and so I was trying to figure out how to get rid of those and my bright idea was to use like a sugar scrub that I had in the shower to do it and now it like really hurts so I don't know if I did something right or something wrong but it's just 
whenever I go over it with like makeup, I don't remember what the last thing I was doing, the highlighter, it like hurt. I wish the lighting was better. I also wish that looking into this in order to do my makeup made it look like I was looking at the camera. Like I can, but I wouldn't be able to see myself. This needs to be darker. I don't know, I can't tell because the lighting. I feel like I can, if I make it darker, it'll look better on the camera here, but I feel like it'll make it look worse outside of here. I'm also going to put the eyeshadow under my eyes. I people, I hope, I hope people didn't expect this to be like a makeup tutorial because it's not, it's like me learning also. I've never been like the connoisseur of makeup. I've never been like great at it. I've been getting a whole lot better at eyeliner though. Like I love eyeliner so much. I love like the style of like the messy eyeliner like under the eye and stuff and I do it sometimes. It's just hard because I feel like it doesn't look good in the summer, but I try my best. So that's what we're actually going to do next is eyeliner. Um, so I'm just trying to see how long a Del Rey is for eyeliner because this says to do like a small wing or whatever. But I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. Here's a good picture. That's what we're gonna go for for our eyeliner. Okay. This is the best stuff that I've ever used to do um, waterline eyeliner, which is one of my favorite things. I don't even know what brand it is because I can't see because it like rubbed off. But it looks like that. It's like a little capsule. And it came in like a pack of other eyeliners too. But it works so much better than a pencil because it's a gel and you put this little brush in and then we need to be really careful not to mess this up because how she does it she only goes halfway through her waterline Probably gonna look whack when I get out of here. I can't like see it. Um, yeah. Also, another thing is I'm probably gonna title this like trying Lana Del Rey's makeup routine or something like that. But yes, I know she probably doesn't do her makeup like this every day. Like, I think we've all determined. I remember like this thing being like, um, can we all agree that Lana Del Rey was never coquette, just her music was? That's kind of what I'm saying here. Um, I'm trying to look at myself on Snapchat, by the way. I think it looks okay. Um, we'll see when we get out of here, I guess. Here's the eyeliner that I'm going to use. I can't find the good one, so I just threw that. 
This is from Dollar Tree. I think the good one fell into the abyss or something. But this one's so hard to open because it like gets stuck because it's crusty. That's what happens when you only pay a dollar for it, I guess. It works well though. Okay, this is gonna be. Okay, I'm setting the little bottle down there and we're gonna try. I'm gonna have to use my phone to do this part. Just cause I can't see. Okay, so I was on the right track. This is so confusing. So like, you can't really see on here, but how I did it on accident is like, there's like another line there. And I feel like this is gonna look terrible. Also, I keep getting confused because there's like a chunk of eyeliner on my eyelash and I keep seeing it and thinking it's like a another part of the eyeliner. This needs to be like watered down or something. It's so thick. I'm probably gonna have to just do that like in the mirror out there. I'll be right back. I'm gonna fix my eyeliner and then we can get back to the tutorial. Not a tutorial, the routine. And then I can talk because I have another story. Okay, I've returned and actually, um, so this eyeliner is a lot better than this one because I did this one in the bathroom mirror but it looks fine also the rest of the makeup actually is like impeccable like i was looking at it in that mirror and it actually looks so good i don't look too much different on here as far as like my skin but like the blush and the concealer and everything is like perfectly blended it looks great um i didn't think it would so anyways mascara time and i actually have one of them in this bag here First, gotta crawl the lashes. I love curling my eyelashes. I just get scared because I see people like ripping their eyelashes out with that thing. And I know it's because they do mascara first and then curl it, which I don't, but I'm so afraid that I never get enough of the mascara off when I wash my face at night that one day, I will pull my eyelashes out with that thing. Maybe I should do my makeup in this one all the time because I feel like I have to overcompensate um, for the amount of things that I'm using because it doesn't show up as well on here. But then in the other mirror, it looks a lot better when you overcompensate like that. Oh no. I'm so sad. Hopefully that looks okay. Um, I don't think it will.
This is the mascara I used, by the way. I don't know what brand it is. V Vibly, I think is what it says. Don't know. I actually like the pink mascara better, which is LA Colors, which is like a cheap dollar store brand. Um, I really don't want to mess my eyeliner up, but I think there's some mascara under there. We'll see. Who knows? Anyways, what I was gonna say before I went to fix my eyeliner in the bathroom mirror is if I plan on doing eyeliner like a lot in the next few weeks, I'm gonna have to learn to do it in like a mirror in the car because, well, actually only if I do it like for one day. So I'm going on a road trip this not this weekend because today is Sunday, but next weekend. And I have to do my makeup in a phone mirror on the road. Yeah. But actually, I think, well, no, that wouldn't be right. So I'm going to Utah. I live in Colorado. The drive is like nine hours, I think. And originally, we were going to leave... Friday morning and get there like Friday evening but the house the, the Airbnb that we were gonna book wasn't available on Friday so we we're gonna go on Saturday but now I don't know like what time we're leaving so I might not have to do my makeup in the car I might be able to do it for who knows okay brows eyebrows my okay I have beef with like filling in my eyebrows because I feel like I look so much worse when they're filled in and like my eyebrows are okay now I think but I don't know I feel like I look like a man whenever I fill in my eyebrows who knows maybe it'll look good today we're gonna do it for the sake of the video if it looks bad I'll just wash it off I do have to leave in like 10 minutes though because my brother has a birthday party he's going to and I'm coming with. So, hopefully this turns out well, because I'm not going to have much time to redo it. Next is highlighter um, in the crease, like right here by your nose and your eyes. And that's, I always do this. I love doing this. But recently, for like my summer makeup stuff, I've been doing it to where the highlighter actually like wraps around and becomes part of the eyeshadow who knows but yeah that's that okay i think this is the last part of this tutorial not tutorial routine i'm not teaching y'all how to do anything so i don't even know how to do it um lip liner and lipstick so before i do that actually I'm using my Space Camp lip balm, and I talked about this in the last video. I'm a Space Camp affiliate. If you ever want to order something from SpaceCampWellness.com, you can use my code RealAbbyElli, and you get 20% off of your order. And I, I would, so I'm an affiliate, so I do shameless plugs whenever I um, use it in my videos. But, like, seriously, even if I wasn't, like, advertising because I'm associated with the brand, I still love the, the lip balm. And it's super cute also, like, the packaging. But I'm going to use Frosted Mint right now. And the three flavors, um, the three original flavors, because there's also, like, a pool party pack. Um, I didn't buy those ones because, um... Personally, I don't ever like like anything coconut or pineapple flavored and that's two of the flavors So that's just my thing. That's not like a bad thing towards the brand I just personally don't like those flavors might buy them anyways to try them because I don't normally like cherry flavored things either But I love the cherry flavored space camp. So there's cherry watermelon and frosted mint and frosted mint like I was surprised because I thought that they just needed like a second word to like brand it because it's wild cherry frosted mint and juicy watermelon so I thought they were just trying to do like two words for each flavor so I was think I didn't think that it would actually be like sweet like it is like it's sweet 
it's ta not tasting because I, I don't eat chapstick. I'm not weird. But like smelling. Like it smells like frosting. Anyways, I'm going to use the brown lip liner. For Lana Del Rey, I think, I don't know if she overlines her lips, but normally when people do her makeup, they overline their lips. I don't like overlining because it looks weird from the side, but for the top lip, I kind of have to. So a lot of times I cover my uh, angel bow, is that what it's called? I don't know. And make it like round, but she has, a, oh, Cupid's bow, that's what it is, Cupid's bow. She leaves hers, so. but hers is like a little bit less defined than mine, so hopefully that looks okay. And I brought in this lipstick, it's literally Dollar Tree lipstick. This is like my favorite shade though. And she leaves hers matte. Normally when I use this lip lipstick, I also use the blush over top of it. Because it's like the same color. And this blush is like kind of um, liquidy. Almost like a gel. Alright. There's the finished look. You can't really see it, the lighting's kinda bad. I'll take pictures of what my face looks like and I'll put it on the screen now. Perfect, so that's me and better lighting and that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you liked listening to me yap while doing my makeup. I know that I love watching videos like that and if you want more, tell me because I'll be. I'll feel free to do it. You can follow my Instagram and my TikTok at RealAbielli. I'll put the usernames up here. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. And I love you all.